a student asked me, how can I do a small experiment to show how new species form? The process of speciation means that formation of new species. How will species form? Species will form in two ways. That is what you call allopatric speciation or sympatric speciation. Today we are going to look at the allopatric speciation, formation of new species or species using a geographical barrier. Everything which we have is going to be, it is going to be look like the natural environment. Before the species form, remember, when we talk about species, these organisms must be able to interbreed to produce a fertile offspring. So I have species, one species, species of this organism. I'm going to call them uh, organism A. These species must be able to interbreed. They must be able to interbreed because it is of the same kind of species. We're going to call it a population. So the population of this organism must be able to interbreed. So when you are writing an exam, we say that there was one population. There was one population of organism A. For example, organism A, or you can talk about giraffe, you can talk about gorillas, you can talk about whatsoever you talk about. There was one population of maybe impala. So this population, they must be able to interbreed. For example, this must have must be able to have sex with this and produce a baby. For example, they must be able to interbreed. This interbreeds with this, and you see that the interbreeding is there. So this must be able to interbreed with this, so that now you can produce a fertile offspring. And even this, if this one wants to interbreed with this, it must be able to do that. Yes, it must be able to do that. So you see, they're able to interbreed. They're able to interbreed. This must be able to interbreed with this. For example, this can interbreed with this. And then you produce, this can interbreed with this. So that's what you call a population. The, the, the organisms in that population must be able to interbreed to produce a fertile offspring. So when the speciation occurs, this population is divided into two subpopulations. It can be two subpopulations, it can be four subpopulations, depending on how many species are going to form. So now, let's divide this into subpopulations. So that, now, you have this, and then now, a geographical barrier comes in. Now, it has divided this population into two subpopulations. When this happens, two things are going to happen. Now, before this came in, these organisms were experiencing the same environmental conditions. But now, once this happens, yes, you're going to see that the environmental condition this side is not the same environmental condition this side. You see that this side, yes, you see that there is a shade. Yes? You'll find out that I have a cloudy, uh, a cloudy side this side or a shady uh, environment and then you'll have a sunny uh, side this side whereby it is bright. You always know that the part where there is a sun is going to have more and more uh, is, um, organisms which are free to live in environment which are hot. And then it's go this one is going to have environment uh, organisms which are free to live in cold. So, these organisms now, they're going to have different environmental conditions. And because they have different environmental conditions, this one, the way how it's going to modify is going to be different from this one. For example, this one, it will be sweating, it will need a fan, for example, if it's a human. And then this one will need a what? Um, a, a jacket, for example, in winter. Why? Because it is cold, it is, it is cloudy, it is shady. And then this one is sunny bright you understand so they're going to experience different environmental conditions but what caused that to happen is because of this because once we, re we remove that the environment becomes the same but the moment i put the geographical barrier i form the what the shared environment and i form a bright side so that's how environmental condition uh, will make these organisms uh, to change so those ones which are able to live in the bright side they're going to survive while these ones which cannot live in the dark side still, 
they are going to die. And then those which are able to live in the dark side, they are going to survive. So natural selection is going to occur here in these two subpopulations. They are subpopulations. They are not new populations because a population, it must have uh, of the same species. So because they are still the same species, they are subpopulations. So natural selection is going to occur independently or differently. So that now, because of the barrier now, which is in between these two, this one cannot go this side. And this one cannot go this side. You see that when it tries to go that side, it's impossible. If this one tries to go that side, it's impossible. It means that it's going to be moving around this side. And then this one also going to be moving around this side. And if this one wants to mate, it's going to mate with this one. So we're going to say that the subpopulation A and the subpopulation B, there will be no gene flow. There will be no gene flow, meaning that um, the, the, the organisms from this side will not be able to interbreed with the organisms from this side. And then now, there will not be gene flow. Now, what happens when there is no gene flow? The organisms are going to start changing. They are going to start changing slowly. They are going to start changing slowly, and they're going to become, they're going to become a... Uh, genotypically and phenotypically different. Gene flow means that they, have, they don't have sex. They, they, they cannot mix their genes. So now they're going to start changing slowly, genotypically and phenotypically. So now, you see that, now the organisms are now starting to change. They are changing genotypically and now phenotypically. Now we have different colors of these organisms. Whereby, now, how will you know that now these are now new species? We don't know yet, but we can know. We have to confirm it by removing this barrier. If you remove the barrier which blocked them, yes, what happens? And you let them mix again, yes, they cannot interbreed to produce a fertile offspring. For example, this wants to mate this. There is no way. There is no way. Yes, meaning that it cannot mate. But this can mate with this. So meaning that it will only mate with the one which is of the same species. While this cannot mate with this. Why? Because, check, it can only mate with this. You see that this and this. So they are new species now. This cannot mate with this. And this cannot mate with this. So this and this, same species. This and this, same species. So it means that now we have formed new species. Whereby, if you see it, you will see that this kind of organism will only mate with this kind of organism. You see? So that now, even if you, 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 you uh, mix them again, they cannot interbreed to produce a fertile offspring there are four now we have two we have two species because this one was the original species and this one is the new species we shall say that there are four one new species has formed i can form two i can form four i can form even this one can change completely depending question why didn't this one change? Meaning that the environmental condition before and after the barrier, it was the same. Meaning that they had to live in an environment which, is, which looks like the original environment. Therefore, they didn't change. Why well, this one? Because the environment was different. Therefore, they formed new species. That's how speciation uh, forms or formation of new species.